Dobar dan, dragi gledalci. Drago nam je da ste opet sa nama. U našoj današnjoj emisiji možete vidjeti delove filma o našem velikom stvaraocu Nikoli Tesli, Tower to the People. Tower to the People je radio poznati filmski režisar Joseph Srkovski, a film je prikazan na Srpskom filmskom festivalu u Torontu. Pogledajte malo više o filmu i intervju koju smo radili sa Josefom Sirkovski. Kako je Tesla? Nije 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 nije. Tesla is, is one of those people that he gave us a lot and we gave him pretty much nothing. He was a visionary about things which largely turned out to be true. I mean, he had ideas so much bigger and larger than the sort of narrow-casted ideas that drove Edison. I mean, he almost made us think of science as kind of wizardry and magic. Wardenclyffe, he understood would change the very nature of how we deal with the world. He had the belief that he would be able to transport energy from Wardenclyffe to Europe directly, without wires. It was a dream based in reality. Wardenclyffe is a kind of, it's a kind of cathedral. It's a monument. It's a symbol of someone trying to do something great for all the right reasons to bring about world community. Sadly, it really has been a terrible last 15 or so years for that site. To let it just go to waste and crumble is a crime. What crowdfunding as we know it now allows you to do is just have the people that want to see that pay for it in advance. To see the fact that, that you know, the internet wanted to pay to repair the legacy of an inventor who's been dead for 70 years was really inspiring. The internet is really allowing many more people to jump in much faster uh, to support the ideas they care about, to fund the ideas, to catalyze change. People spoke, really from all over the world saying that this place is important, this place really matters. There is a nut element to Tesla too, right? The problem I have with Tesla is whenever someone's talking about them, they always cross over into nut. There's a, a kind of a science fiction side to, let's say, Tesla admirers. Daydreaming and unhealthful pandering. I have talked with no scientific man who do not consider Tesla's claim absurd. Can only excite pity and regret. There were also descriptions of a series of tunnels that were below the tower. This was part of Tesla's grand idea of sending power without wires. We are here at a Serbian Film Festival with Joseph Sikorski. Uh, good evening and welcome. Thank you for having me. 
We were seeing a movie called um, Tower to the People about Nikola Tesla, one of the greatest minds that ever existed. Can you tell me how did you come up with the name, which is brilliant, and also can you tell me a little bit more about how you came up to do this movie? Well, the name Tower to the People was because Tesla was creating his experiments to help all of mankind. So it was really a, a, a gift to the people if he could have implemented his free wireless energy to the world. How did you, uh, what was the inspiration to actually do this movie? Well, it was that uh, the campaign that saved Wardenclyffe, the uh, Oatmeal's crowdfunding campaign that saved Wardenclyffe, really uh, corrected a tragedy of Wardenclyffe failing, which mm -hmm. had failed because of corporate greed and uh, Tesla wasn't able to achieve his dream, but many years later, a new generation using, inter using the internet, a technology that Tesla helped pioneer, uh, united to save it. And I just found that to be a very moving story, and I thought it was a great human drama and something that should be told. You also had a lot of co contribution to this movie and also preserving the Nikola Tesla laboratories. Uh, how do you feel about that? I, uh, well, we had originally uh, had a film that we were, we put a portion of the budget uh, to donate to the Tesla Science Center so they would be able to purchase the property. Uh, but the money for that film fell through, so we felt very bad. So we raised uh, as much money as we had to try to, uh, to save the, the lab and donated it to that effort because we wanted to support that effort. But it was really, in the end, there were some big donors, but in the end it was really $10 at a time, the whole world uniting to save it. So. It, it's great. It's a great inspirational town. Hopefully, it's going to bring attention to the Tesla Science Center because they need many millions more to renovate the lab. Also, I wanted to ask you, at the beginning of the movie, uh, we, we saw some people not even knowing who Tesla is, average people. And um, when did you first find out about Tesla? And how did you find out about Tesla? Well, I'm another casualty of the uh, American educational system. I graduated high school, uh, almost went through college without ever hearing who Tesla was. Uh, I read about him in a bookstore. I saw a book, it looked interesting, and I started to read about him, and I was just shocked. Why is it I've never heard about this person? Why is it I've never learned about this person in school? So I thought at that point, um, my background is in cinema, and I thought that would be a great way to raise awareness of who he is. So that's uh, that's what got me started on the on the process. Is this your second or the first movie about Tesla? It's 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 the first and the second because the first film uh, we were raising the money, and uh, the the funding fell through, and the component of that budget we had incorporated into our budget to donate some of that money to the science center so they can purchase the property because we had tried to reach out to people to donate the money to save the property, but they had never heard of Tesla. So not hearing of Tesla, they didn't realize the value of the property. So we thought, let's make a movie about Tesla, then people will know who he is, and, uh, and then we'll be able to you know, get the money for the property. But then we incorporated it into the budget, so before we'd even run any film, the property would be saved. It fell through, though, sadly. But um, that's why we started Tower to the People afterwards. And uh, now we're going back to the first movie. So it's really the, s the second movie, but it's also the first. That's a very confusing answer, <laughs> I know. But after people see it, they'll understand. Where have this movie premiered? Has it premiered in the US? It did. We actually premiered it at the New Yorker Hotel in the Grand Ballroom, which is where uh, Nikola Tesla used to hold his annual birthday uh, press conferences. The New Yorker Hotel is also where uh, Nikola Tesla died. He lived his last sad years there. So we thought that was an appropriate place. and. Uh, it was terrific. We had people like director Jim Jarmusch came to the, the premiere. It was really great. Artist Robert Wilson, and we had the consulate general from the uh, Republic of Serbia come. So it was really a fantastic, fantastic event. What is your future plan with this movie? We are going to bring uh, tour it around uh, the country. And in April of next year, we're going to be bringing it overseas mm -hmm. uh, to Serbia and uh, uh, some of the neighboring countries. So um, we're going to have a world tour theatrically. We're looking for a broadcast deal at the same time. And eventually it's going to end up on video on demand, so everybody will have access to it. You also mentioned that the um, Museum of Nikola Tesla in Belgrade has made lots of contributions to the movie. Yes, and absolutely. Yeah, uh, they gave us access to some of Tesla's blueprints for Wardenclyffe, which were very important in having us reconstruct uh, the tower and to reconstruct the uh, Stanford White Building accurately. They gave us some rare photographs. Uh, uh, like the photograph of Tesla at Wardenclyffe, the only photograph 
uh, that exist of that. So they were very, very cooperative. Um, and I could really, uh, at the time, it was Vladimir Yelenkovic who was the, uh, the director, and he, w he was fantastic. And all the people uh, in the Serbian government that worked with us, they were, they were really great with this cause, really uh, cooperative. Thank you very much for doing this movie, and I wish yeah. you all the best and all the luck. Thank you so Thank much. You. When you are speaking with people who are educated uh, engineers, uh, they know who Tesla is, but ordinary people don't know. And this is our main aim, and uh, this is the reason why we are doing what we are doing now. To open the eyes to all Americans, uh, to be aware about the significance of this person. Nikola Tesla called the age in which he lived the age of electricity which also defined the title of the exhibition. Tesla showed a spirit of intellectual bravery and out-of-the-box thinking to challenge what was then the conventional thinking of the scientific elite. He was a true giant for science. He was brilliant and he worked very hard in his career and he suffered in the end of his career. I believe there will be a day when Nikola Tesla named which signify uh, peace, brotherhood among all nations and the regions, and also science. He symbolizes what we should do, harness our work to the real work of nature, to harness our industries to the real work of nature, to live within nature's ways. That's what he symbolizes. Tesla is recognized not only for what he accomplished, but for the ethic that he had in developing it. From the moment that he was doing any invention was with the idea that whatever he did should have a benefit for society. Nikola Tesla, who made almost all of his inventions as a United States citizen located in the United States, there isn't really a museum or a particular place that respects him as the person that we have come to understand. Wardenclyffe is a kind of it's a kind of cathedral, it's a monument. If Tesla's vision had to do with this wireless transmission of energy, I think we're still on that mission. We haven't gotten there yet. Bordencliffe, as an element of Tesla's life and background, is an ideal place to have some sort of museum-type research facility. I think one way to look at Wardenclyffe, it's a symbol of someone trying to do something great for all the right reasons. And I think anything that we can do to promote that is important. Preserving the Wardenclyffe property and the laboratory and the future museum is a proper respect of all people to recognize in Nikola Tesla a person who deserves the respect that he has earned, not only with his accomplishments, but with his personality that was aimed at improving the life of every living person. Sharing with everyone, with no price, that was Tesla. Can you tell something about the future of the Wardenclyffe Cliff after, after your movie? Uh, well, the future, actually, uh, it looks a lot better than you've seen here. They've really made a lot of progress in the, uh, in the grooming of, of the grounds, and uh, they're start they actually started a new campaign, so this is a good way to talk about it, a uh, good, good segue. Uh, you could actually buy a brick for Nick through the Tesla Science Center and actually become a part of, of, of uh, Wardenclyffe. So uh, they're trying to raise more money. Uh, they're going to need a lot more to... Uh, turn the, the building and restore it to the original Stanford White design. And there are a lot of uh, buildings on the property that need to come down. Uh, the original lab has asbestos in it, which is uh, further complicating things. So it's going to take, uh, hopefully, uh, some of the industrialists and, and some people uh, from some venture capitalists will, will come through with some more money and, uh, and we'll be able to complete this. But it's really making a lot of progress. Every weekend, there are volunteers that go there and clean the property. It's really, really amazing, and it's it's very uh, it's very uplifting to see. And that brick campaign, uh, people can 
can buy the brick with their name. Yeah, yeah, you can buy a brick. You put your name on it. Uh, corporations can put their logo on it. You can find out from uh, the teslasciencecenter.org or go to their, their Facebook page. Uh, but it's really, it's a great way to, to physically be a part of the, of the Tesla Museum that you all help save. Uh, this documentary is great. So I don't have questions. It's based on a very good book of uh, Dr. Mark uh, Siffer. And I would like just to shake hand with you, to tell you thank you very much. Thank you. And uh, something else, please. As we are Serbians, we, we know that Tesla is in our heart. But it's not enough. Because we are a small nation, if we praise Tesla too much, Americans as great nation, big nation, will be jealous on us. What we need to do, we have to put Tesla in the heart of American people. American people is good, and they deserve to have Tesla because Tesla lived in the United States. Tesla was American. He was keeping his uh, certificate of uh, citizenship in safe. All could be burned, but his certificate of American citizenship couldn't be. So Tesla is American. We are proud on Tesla as Serbian greatest son. Tesla is no number one Serbian, but we will not succeed if Americans don't put Tesla in their hearts. So that's, I would like to thank to all American people who are accepting Tesla, because uh, every contribution of, of American people is much stronger than contribution of Serbian people regarding the Tesla. Thank you very much. I just want to know a little bit more about the second Tesla movie that you're making. Okay. Uh, the second movie is called Fragments from Olympus, which we had, uh, we were in pre-production before uh, the, the campaign had happened. Um, we are now looking to get it funded. We have some great people on board. We have uh, Academy uh, Award nominated actor Michael Lerner on board. We have uh, Sean Young on board. We have uh, Leo Rossi on board. So we have, uh, we're, we're get putting our cast together and we're, we're seeking financing right now for it. So that's where we are there. And it is a, um, th the mission of that movie is to bring Tesla into the popular culture. Uh, so it is, uh, it has a little backstory about the true life FBI investigation into his research and Tesla's story unfolds that way. So we think if, we can interest people with the wraparound story of the, of the FBI investigation. We can subtly uh, teach them some history and teach them about Tesla. Well, thank you. Uh, the question was, uh, what motivated us to do the movie and what sources of material? Uh, what motivated us was after the lab was saved, we've been working with the Tesla Science Center for many years. For us, this process has, has been a 14-year long process of of trying to get the, the lab saved. Um, when our funding fell through and the funding fell through to purchase the lab, this miracle happened thanks to Matthew Winman and the whole world, $10 at a time saving it. And I thought, what an uplifting message that is, that uh, this tragedy that happened at Wardenclyffe was vindicated by a world today using technology that he developed. So I thought that was a great uh, human drama to, to tell people about. And it would help bring more attention to the museum so we could help, help get it restored. So that was the, the motivation. And um, the sources, some of the sources were, uh, we were very lucky that the Tesla Museum in Belgrade uh, gave us so much cooperation. In fact, they gave us access to blueprints that, uh, I, I, to my knowledge, no one has had access to, which helped us to put the pieces together of, of the building of the tower. They gave us some rare photographs, so they were very supportive. Uh, other sources uh, you, you see in the film, people <coughs> like uh, Gary Peterson, who actually has been experimenting with wireless energy using te Tesla's methods. We have uh, Mark Seifer, who is uh, you know, a very uh, diligent researcher on Tesla. And uh, Sebastian White, who is a physicist who helped discover the God particle. He, found, he works uh, on the Ion Collider in CERN. So we really had a great, a great team of people to uh, use as sources. If we actually had access to Tesla's uh, creations, would we even have a need for fossil fuel, coal, nuclear? Um, well, 
initially we still need traditional power sources to power the generators that are that would power Wardenclyffe. So there, uh, there are some needs. Uh, Wardenclyffe was run on coal at the time. Uh, I mean, with today's technology, could solar be used? I'm sure Tesla would be looking into. He was always a big uh, advocate of wind power even back then. He was always uh, for renewable resources. Um, we could cut our, our use of fossil fuels tremendously using a Tesla method, uh, for sure. But um, would we be totally uh, unreliant on it? I, I guess it, it's possible. And it was Tesla's hope, so uh, as you can see, though, there's a lot of reason that, uh, that there'd be a lot of resistance to that from a lot of big corporations, of course. Uh, most of Tesla's patents are available. Well, I guess all of his patents are available. Um, I guess the, the gray area are the things that he wrote about that have not been made public, things that are probably in, uh, in the FBI files of the U.S. government and probably still in the files of Belgrade, too. Um, you know, probably a lot of interesting things. I would have liked to have gotten my hands on the blueprints to the tunnel network underneath. Uh, that was the most important and most expensive part of Wardenclyffe, but there's no documentation on it. Obviously, this had to be well planned out before they brought in the machinery to dig these tunnels. So, uh, you know, I would like to see more, uh, more of these documents be released. And hopefully, uh, you know, as we move forward and, you know, our relationship with Belgrade gets better and you know, maybe uh, some of these documents will come out. Okay, thank you very much, and I hope that this movie will make some changes. Dragi gledalci, došli smo i do samo kraja naše današnje emisije. Za sve informacije, sugestije i mogućnosti reklamiranja možete nas potražiti na našem websiteu www.serbiantoronto.tv. Možete nas pratiti na Twitteru i lajkovati na Facebooku. Moje ime je Miljana Ristić, hvala vam na pažnji i doviđenja.